Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Trivet Nuts. I'm John, it's been a while, it's been a couple weeks. When I got handed this project from Skip, when Skip's back failed him, like a fluey and all that, and he handed this project off to me, finally sank in to me just how little time I had to complete what is probably the most important project I'll ever do. It was looking rather ominous. But it got better. I'm feeling much better now. I finished the flag pretty much. I have a couple things to assemble on it. It's drying from sealing it right now, but I'm feeling much better. That's why you're seeing my face. So Skip came up and uh, delivered everything to me. He had a lot of Senate tied. Uh, if you recall, we did a video on the uh, making of and use of a modified Inca loom for making sword mat, which if he hadn't come up with, he'd be somewhere in North Carolina tying sword mat by hand, still. So eventually I'm going to do basically kind of a documentary of this entire process, the entire uh, creation of the, of the frame. But here's what I got for now. So this is the first frame that Skip ordered for using for this project. But they screwed it up. This is all jacked up. They just didn't put it right. Anyway, so head to another one. Kind of a documentary of the construction of the frame. It's just happening anyway, because I'm doing that. Um, Newport News, Virginia, where every single nuclear aircraft carrier is built. Correct. A ten minute walk, right where we're standing. Yep. That's going to be my test piece. Coming in. We're going to be making dust from here on out. The original frame that I have in my upstairs right now made that was uh, whacked. enough to cover half of it so we're good to go there
So I am lining these up and actually screwing these strips down as a guide. And then each layer of sennit is being glued down with uh, quick and thick. So that's how it's shaping up. And then these strips are getting glued in between. Easy to say, more difficult to do.